everybody, today we're going to start an experiment to learn about plants and how they absorb water. You probably know that plants need water to live and grow. All parts of plants need water, even the tallest trees. And that's a really long way so, up. Let's start, start our experiment. experiment. Celery, water, food coloring, scissors, and cups. First, fill your cup with water. Then add the food coloring. Cut off the bottom edge of the celery. Put it in, in the water. Oh, oh, we, we forgot, forgot to, to mention, mention one, one more ingredient, patience. We have to at least wait one full day. When you come back a day later, you can take a look at the leaves and see that they changed color. We left one stalk and water with no food coloring to compare to the others. Water moves up to the leaves, where it's used for a process called photosynthesis. And that's how plants make energy. Now let's see how the water moved all the way up to the leaves. It's easy to see that water went up through the base of each celery stalk. Now let's check out the top and see how they look like. You can see the blue and red coloring throughout the stalk and even at the leaves. Now let's see how our celery looks like on the inside. Take a closer look at the fibers of the celery. That's the silo, where the water traveled. Plants get water from the soil surrounding the water. Water is taken through the roots into the trunk by special cells called xylem. Xylems are long rectangular cells all patched together so water can easily move through them. Water exits through tiny pores called stemata. This process is called transpiration. That's how plants absorb water.